Well, starting tomorrow, South Dakotans can start casting their ballots for the November election. Couple of last, Julia Lynn spoke with the Lincoln County Auditor and shares what you need to know before voting. Lincoln County's Auditor Sherry Lund says her office has been preparing all year for the election, as they expect many people to cast their absentee ballots. We actually looked at this and there's about 5,000 average if you don't count 2020. <laughs> 2020 was, you know, a unique situation. So You will have to bring your driver's license, and after that, you will get this ballot, what you'll fill out here. And note, this year is a little bit longer than past years. You could expect to take more time. Um, we have seven ballot questions on it. However, there is a website to help people prepare. I think the biggest thing would be to go onto the VIP portal, review the sample ballot that's available, so you know what you're voting on and know how you want to vote when you get here. Whether you vote absentee or on Election Day, all of Lincoln County's ballots will be counted by a machine on November 5th. When we get the absentee ballot returned or when they're in the office, we verify every signature. Um, if there's a death or anything that happens during the absentee period, we'll pull that ballot out so obviously it won't count. In Canton, Julia Lynn, Kelloland News. A reminder that under South Dakota law, starting tomorrow through Election Day, you cannot wear or bring any campaign materials to the polls when you vote. For more information on how to get a sample ballot and where your voting place is, just go to this story on KettleLand.com.